I'm going to attempt to ride the world's largest bike money can buy. Not this one, but that one. <laughs> oh, sh Big isn't always better, mate. You keep telling yourself that. Get in my tuck. I told you this would happen. Wow, oh, Jesus. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> This is my typical road bike, my GCN Orbea Orca in size 49 with a 51 horizontal top tube in centimeters and a 46 seat tube. This bike has a 62 centimeter seat tube with a 75 centimeter top tube. This is the world's largest bike that money can buy. Yeah, the Dirty Sixer All Road two in a five times XL. Now this size suits people that are around seven foot one inches all the way to seven foot five inches. And if you look at it, it's just like any normal modern bike. My bike has wheels, 700C with a 29 inch diameter and the tires I've got on are 28 mil Pirellis. This has wheels too. 36 inch diameter and 57 mil tires. Just like my Orbea, which has disc brakes, 140 mil rotors. This too has disc brakes, 203 mil rotors. And there's two of them on the front for advanced braking for the heavier riders. This can take 180 kilograms. That's two and a half me. And I'm the big bloke. My bike is safely rated to carry 115 kilos. Max saddle height, 75 centimeters. Max saddle height on this, 99. This has pedals. This has pedals. Oh my gosh, they're enormous. My bike weighs 6.7 kilos, full carbon frame set. This weighs 15 kilos. Alloy frame and steel forks. Oh. <sighs> this bike, 170 mil cranks. This has 200 mil cranks. I mean, as long as my forearm. That's mental. And today, I'm going to ride it, or at least attempt to ride it. Now, who better to join me than our very own green giant, the world's tallest man to ever finish a grand tour? Yes, it is, of course. Connor Dunn. I don't know why you've been chosen to present this video. What do you mean? Because, well, well look at you. What do you mean, look the at me? The saddle's up to your armpit. Yeah, but I'm the average height of a man. Five foot nine, 10, give or take. I just don't think you're gonna be able to ride it, mate. I think what? it's a bit big for you. Of course I can ride it. Mate, you, you always don't think I can do things, and I actually can. Well, go on then. I think you're gonna need this. I'm glad I've got a helmet on, actually. I'm gonna right. need it, falling from that height. It's like falling off the Alpha Tower. Thanks, mate. Do you want me to hold you steady? No. Nope. You sure you're right? Yeah. The, the okay. worry is, how are you going to get off? Well, we'll figure that out when I get to it. <laughs> oh, sh**. Oh, there we go. Made it. Definitely not on the saddle, which is a slight shame. Here, go on. I'll get you on the, I'll get you on the saddle. I'll get you on the saddle. You can't go off it. There you go. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I don't know if I can ride this one. I I think should... give, I'm going to give it another go down the mountain bike trail. Okay, right, go on then. I don't even think I don't know if I can ride it. <laughs> Hold me steady. <laughs> Stop. Can you actually touch the pedals? <laughs> oh! <laughs> You've got to ride that. I'm going to leave the bucket. <laughs> I think we've got a bit of an audience as well. Here I go. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, Jesus. Tell you what, it's a long way down. <laughs> Man, you're ridiculous. Well, there you go. Time to take it for a ride. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Well, this is nice. Say, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I have never ridden a bike that is too big for me. I've never had anything that's too big for me. Crammed into planes, I've crammed into shoes, crammed into jeans, crammed into your tiny car. I mean, it's quite remarkable. Mate, you have to sit on my wheel, because then you get the draft. I am getting absolutely no draft off you. I reckon I could bulldoze you if I wanted to. <laughs> Why? 
it makes me ride this out of so high. It needs to be like that. Oh, look at all the reactions. Wow, you're getting a lot of attention, mate. It's big. <laughs> <laughs> I literally can't see you down there. <laughs> I feel like I'm on stilts. Right then, should we have a little sprint off? Three, two, one. Up. I'm actually faster than you. <laughs> big isn't always better, mate. You keep telling yourself that. This thing is awesome. This is absolutely awesome. Absolutely amazing. Ah, you didn't give Sorry. me off, you freak. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and I just think it's amazing that these bikes exist. Because some people are so tall that they just don't fit on normal bikes. Yeah, I mean, my neck is having a slight issue trying to have a chat with you, though. That's any trouble. So, Connor, now you're getting used to the, uh, well, the dirty six in a five times XL. But the question is, how are we going to show that that bike can do exactly what this bike can do? Well, we're heading out on a little local loop, so I think we need to have a series of challenges. Yeah. Talking braking power, max speed, how does it come with descents? Can this bike go over 50 mile an hour? What do you reckon? Let us know in the comments. Well, with you on it, it might struggle, but with me, different question. I'm actually rather struggling to talk to you, if I'm honest, because I'm just looking at your knees. Are you still in the shot? Is he still in the shot? Because he's so low down. I'm just worried you're not in frame, Hank. We've made it to our first challenge. It's a climbing challenge on the famous Banner Down Climb, where our very own Andrew Feather managed to complete the climb in six minutes and five seconds. The question is, Connor, on the world's largest bike money can possibly buy, how fast can he do it? Time to lay down a marker. Or how slow? For the big riders. Oh yeah, it's been fun so far. Been loving it. Been absolutely amazing. Yeah. I'm, like a, I'm like an eagle. I mean, I'm like an eagle in the sky. Yeah, let's crack on with the challenge, shall we? Right, All right. hold me steady. Don't put this up. <laughs> You're a little weasel. <laughs> You're literally a little weasel. Right, okay, hold, me, marks. hold me steady. I want to share a proper time here. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. Hold on. Right. Bits to the left. Okay, you ready? Two. Two. One, go! No, you put my bloody saddle on. What are you doing? I can't pedal! Oh no. Well, this is disastrous. I told you this would happen. Wow! Jesus! It's fair to say, he's not very good at climbing. Now, I don't think it's totally the bike's fault. At the moment, Connor's about as weak is anything. Yeah, I'm on track. Two minutes in, third of the way to beat in feathers time. It's not often as big guys get to post up the time. Probably going to be the only one on the leaderboard. So I'm going to be at the top. I think if there's one thing us big folk maybe aren't the greatest at, it's going up climbs. Be the number one time for the big bike, though. Feel free to come and give it your own shot. At the moment, I can't see him, and he's currently five minutes behind me already. It's not looking good. Talk of the devil. Oh, he's struggling up. It's, it's almost like he's on a winch. Keep going, mate. Oh, it's not pretty. No, you can't celebrate that. That was awful. A good effort. Yeah. Feather had been up and down and then back up by the time you got up. You would have done it twice. Now that's appalling, mate. Yeah, but he's not. He's not my height, though, is he? He's not. He's not tall. He's not giant. <laughs> like I'm all for tough love, but I. Awful. I think I've overtrained a bit. The downhill challenge off the top of Banner Down. How fast can we go? Now, I've hit 70, 80 kilometers an hour down there already, so I know I can do that's. No, I have. You have. I have. Yeah, that is total. 70 an hour I've gone down there. I don't no believe quads. you, but anyway, I think to be fair, you probably are better placed than me to, to descend. 
on the big bike. So I'm, you want me to go on that? Yeah, because I'm sensible and I've got half a brain. Don't hurt my bike. Remember, that can't take 180 kilograms. Eight. Ah! Jesus! So max speed, I'm not gonna have speed kids limit on 60 this. mile an hour, so you're fine on that front. Take right. it easy, don't do anything stupid. What's your bet? What do you reckon I can do? 60k an hour. Easy. How do I change gear? Right, I'm in. 20k an hour! 24 an hour for me! 25! 27! Get in my tuck! 35! 43! 50! This is a tough bit, we got a corner! Hit 50k an hour, can I corner flat out? Can't get my knee down! We're on 52! Sixty-one comms now. That's fair, very good to be honest. Hit top top speed then. That's pretty rapid. Do you know what I was also thinking? Is the girth, the diameter? We didn't measure the diameter of the handlebars. I did notice it as I was riding. That is ridiculous. It's amazing because I have got such big hands. Let's see. Way bigger than your hands. Wow. And if you have a narrow bar, imagine even bigger hands than me. It'd be quite hard to because that's onto. normal for me. It's just amazing how every little detail's been thought out. Yeah. Next up, the stopping test. Now, the Dirty Six have boasted incredible stopping power with the double rotor on the front wheel, enabling it to stop a rider that weighs 180 kilograms. So in order to find out if it is as good as it says it is, we thought we'd put a bottle and do a speed test into stopping test. Right, I'll put the bottle here. Which will stop the quickest? Hank's tiny bike or the big one? Hold on, mate, it might take you about half an hour to get there, so you All might right. as well get a head start now. OK, you ready to break? In three, yeah. two, one, break! Woohoo! Absolutely trounced ya! That's pretty impressive, actually. I was bang stop. The giant takes it. Woohoo! Oh my gosh! Those double discs make a huge difference because I went kind of straight on and you stopped on a dime. I mean, honestly, that is the most controlled I've yeah. ever come to a stop in my life. I you think... just had the power to be able to really slow you down and not feel like you're out of control at all. I think the tyres and the traction probably helped a little bit so, as well. Yeah, the tyres and the traction helped too, but still. But it just begs the question, should we be putting double rotors on front wheels on other bikes? Anyway, let us know in the comment section below. I'll tell you where this bike could go well is on a trail. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see that, wouldn't it? And you haven't brought the right bike for the job, but maybe if you let us know in the comments if you think it's a good idea, yeah. we'll get Blake involved, we'll get GMBN on a case. Well, would see this what... bike be the ultimate gravel bike? Well, in order to find out, we're going get, to get home. So um, let's see who would win on a race back race into back. town. Yeah, let's do it. I bet you're going to take a shortcut or something. Not I've got the tractor. The giant tractor. And I've got the speed merchant. Never underestimate a giant. That's what I always like to right. say. Let's go. Three, two, one. Oh, I'm I need sorry, my bottle. I need I'm my sorry. bottle. That's my bottle. Yeah, but I'm freaking domestique, aren't I? We have both made it back safe and sound, and it was an interesting set of tests. Fair to say that the Dirty Sixer did win one of them. One of them, yeah. I think it was more the rider that was at fault, though, because <laughs> it is such a cool bike. And I mean, it was amazing just to see everyone's reactions to it as well when yeah. we're here in town and everyone... It literally just every second we've been in town, someone's yeah. been coming up with a bit of wonder yeah. about what it's all about. And I just think it's so cool. It is. The bikes like this are being made. It's different to the norm. It's 36 inch, massive wheels. Yeah. It's such a different experience when and you're on that bike. I think it does only put it in perspective when I'm riding it, just how big it is. Because yeah. you are six foot eight. And if you are seven foot and over, then this is the bike for you. So, well, uh, well that's yeah. it as well, because it's just amazing how different we all are. There's people out there who are seven foot five, and this allows them to jump on a bike, yeah. which I think is absolutely 
amazing. Yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then you know what to do, hit that thumbs up button. And if you want to see Connor and the Dirty Sixer take on another video, maybe even against a gravel or of a mountain bike, then let us know in the comments below. And we'll see you in the next video, won't we, Connor? Thanks for watching, everyone. <sighs> I'm so glad we just survived the uh, I'm glad you test. survived the descent. No, yeah, that was so worried. I was slightly worried. Couldn't touch the bottom or the pedal stroke. Maybe we can get you on like one of those stretch tables. Yeah, give you enlarge a few more, me a little a few bit. A few more inches. Yeah, thanks, mate. Well, you can get those, yeah. Yeah, anyway.